Excuse me. All right, hey, shalom, shalom to the elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, and the water Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days, which the world cannot receive. And as always, the honors to our apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and taught us the truth and do what world broke thumb. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakarnia, while Achim, the elders and the brothers, standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, truth and sincerity. And shalom to the rest of the predestined elect scattered about the four corners of the earth, predestined to be saved from the utter destruction that's going to primarily take place here in Babylon, the great spiritually Sodom and Egypt, known to you today as America. All right, known to, uh, well, I call it, you know, the home of the, uh, uh, the slaves, land of the freaks, you know. But, uh, you know, just through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, I got up this afternoon, you know, Jake worked night shift. And I was meditating on how um, when reality sets in, man, you know, the spirit had me meditate on reality. Okay, and, 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 and what is reality? Reality is the so-called, I mean, so eat them as you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and African Indians, our biggest adversary, man, biggest enemy, all right? He is at intimate, uh, enmity with you, man, you see, against you, man. Everything that you do, all right, everything that, you, uh, uh, everything that you're about, he's totally against, man. And this is why he sets you up. He puts you in the lowest uh, conditions, whether it's where you live, whether it's where you work. All right, guess what? You are always the last hired, okay, and the first fired. Okay, your foods is genetically modified or, or organisms, man. You see, save a lot in almost damn near every hood. You see? All right, your supervisor don't like you. You see? And then chiefly, the reason why I'm ultimately doing this video too is because the scripture in Ezekiel 9 and 4, slay old and young, both made and little children and women. All right, so it's a lot of women. I was listening to Elder... Um, Malcolm from Jim in Chicago, his uh, latest video he did. Okay, and um, it's a lot of women, man. It's a lot of single women out here in these last days, man. And why is that? Why do the Heavenly Father have it like that? Because majority of you women are going to be destroyed, man. Okay, because you're wicked. All right, you're conniving. You're deceitful. Okay, you're uh, 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 you're uh, backsliders. Okay, and ultimately you're adulterers, man. You see, and the Heavenly Father do not play that shit, man. You see. All right, so I just want to prophesy through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem I'm going to start here in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 1. All right, because when, when reality set in, you women going to really understand that you need a man of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Not just any man, but you're going to need a man of the Lord in these last days, man. You see? Because ain't no average regular dagger got, got the truth, man. You see, the Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh all right, has men across the four corners of the earth to set them up in order, okay, and has given them wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all right, so that they can be instructed. And, and, and guided through the spirit in these last days, man, to know how to maneuver, how to be wise as a serpent, okay, and harmless as a dove, and to ultimately stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. And you women are going to have to cleave unto that in Jacob's trouble. You're going to see that real soon, man. This is uh, Ezekiel 7, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh, power unto the land of Israel, and end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. You see, an end is come up upon the four corners of the land. Of course, now uh, Israel is a people for us a place. Okay, but we're we're no longer uh, dwelling in that place right now, man. And then I just seen a, a, a article of um of a, a couple of uh, Israelites. All right, that's uh, living out there in the land of uh, Israel have sixty days to leave that land, man. You see, so so things is cracking down, man. All right. On you tribes, all right, and it said the end is come, right? Verse three, it says, "Now, now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee." So the Lord is going to send His anger, <laughs> all right, upon thee, which is who? Who is that? Who is that ultimate uh, uh, anger of Yahweh Shem All right, let's get that real quick. Okay, in the book of Psalm seventeen, let's get that real quick. Psalms chapter seventeen. Psalm 17 and verse 13, it says, Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him. All right, cast him down. See, it's a him. Who is that him? So call me, so eat him, man. It says, Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. So the wicked, the so call me, so eat him, is the sword of the Heavenly Father, man. And what we need, we must need to be delivered from this, man. Because what ultimately, what? Revelations, the 12th chapter says, He's coming down with great wrath. Because you know that he have a short time and what? And, and in the book of Matthews, it says no flesh would be saved. Okay, if the heavenly father have not been unto us a small remnant in the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, man. So if the Lord did not sanction, all right, uh, uh, or sanctify uh, 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 elect of the nation of Israel, okay, we would have been as Sodom and we would have been as Gomorrah, man. All right? So it's important for us to go out to the highways and hedges and preach this word and to tell our people to repent, man, so that the elect can wake up and be sealed and destruction can come upon all you, uh, uh, you, you unbelievers, man. All right, you of uh, incredulity, man. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. 
All right, Ezekiel 7, verse uh, 3 again, it says, Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee. All right, which Esau, Edom, so called. I mean, ultimately, to these plagues. Because the Lord said he will plague Egypt as, uh, uh, as before. You see? It says, And will judge thee according to thy ways. See? And will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. So the Lord is just pretty much giving you a reward for everything that you've done. Matter of fact, let's get a quick precept in the book Ecclesiastes. This came to my mind. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 14. For the Most High, Yahweh, Bashmiel Shai, shall bring every work into judgment. See, every work into judgment, man. It says, whether it's a, a slot, with, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So a reward is coming to the good, do, for, the, for the good, which is uh, uh, the nation of Israel, uh, uh, starting off with the elect. Okay, the elect of, uh, of the nation of Israel is the good. Okay, in the eyes of Yahweh, Bashmiel Shai, because what? John 17 and 14. All right. The Lord said, uh, um, mine are thine and thine are mine. Who is that speaking about? Chosen vessels, man. Chosen souls. All right. Ordained from the foundation of the earth before the, before the world was, okay, to be saved in these last days, man. Predestined for salvation. That's who Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is, is, is uh, uh, who's going to, he's going to reward the good unto, man. But the evil, the, 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 the wicked, okay. All right. You're going to be rewarded too. Matter of fact, let's get another precept in the book of Proverbs. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 16, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord Yahweh, Bashmi al Shah, have made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. See, so when reality set in, you people are going to understand that your whole soul existence was to be destroyed, man. Okay, and Yahweh Bashmi al Shah set it up that way. Why? Because he is the, he is the heavenly father, man, the father of spirits. And the scriptures say, what? Well, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways, man. All right, so the way the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son got this thing set up, majority of our people are going to die out here, man. You see, and that's just the hardcore facts. That's just the truth, okay? And once reality set in, you're going to find out that you're going to be in the worst condition possible, man, ever. And, and you're not going to have the names of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. You're going to be destroyed. Ezekiel 7, verse 4, it says, And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity See, so the Lord is not going to pity you, man. This is a time right now where the Heavenly Father has his hands stretched out still. Okay, but what you Jake still want to uh, uh, rattle, rattle uh, uh, you know, swim in your wickedness, man. You see, refuse correction, despise reproof. Okay. All right, disregard uh, uh, instruction. Okay. Uh, put aside the words of the Heavenly Father through his only begotten son. Mock, scoff, and scorn at the prophets. You see, and ultimately you don't even understand that you're doing this to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not us, because this is his word that we're coming out of, man. So the Lord said what? And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity. So the Lord ain't going to have pity on majority of you women, all right, because you women have compassion, man. That's according to the prophecies too. Okay, and you have a lot of simple ass niggas out here, man. You see, who, who want to cleave unto their woman, be all under her, you see? But guess what? She going to lead you right to a missile or right to uh, uh, the lake of fire, man. Which is Babylon, the great America, but she's gonna lead you right to that fire, that cleansing agent, man. You see, because you want to be all up under her rather than cleaving unto your house, bossing your outside, being up under wisdom, which is thy uh, mother, man. You see, all right, it says, But I will re recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, your house, me your shot, right? So the Lord is recompensing your ways upon you. Why? Because in a time of liberty, you, you, you loathed at the law of the Heavenly Father, man. We're out here telling you, all right, to have faith in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah and put, a, put away your transgressions, put away your evil ways, man. And the Heavenly Father will pardon. Because the scriptures say, as far as the east is from the west, so have he uh, removed our, our transgressions, man. You see in the scriptures, man. But what? Jake don't want to uh, believe in the Heavenly Father. Jake don't want to conduct himself in the eyes of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah or in a, a righteous manner, you see, in a holy conduct, man, holy conversation. He would rather what? Rattle in his uh, uh, sins, man. Until what? The, late, uh, the day of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai come, which what? When reality is going to set in, man. You're going to know you're getting judged for all your evil doings, man. You're getting rewarded for your evilness, man. <laughs> for your wickedness. Verse 5 Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, in evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. And that word there, and watcheth, in the 1611, it says, against thee. Behold, it is come. See, so this day of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is against you people, man. That's why the scriptures say, let's get down to the book of Amos. Amos, uh, Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. 
to what end is it for you? See, because the end has come. So what end is it for unrighteous, uh, uh, for unrighteousness, man? What end is it for a wicked ass, uh, 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 rebellious house? Visiting what the Heavenly Father said in the book of Deuteronomy, visiting the 34th generation of them that hate me. What is the end of you? Destruction. Being destroyed, man. So it says, woe, which is death and destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. The day of Yahweh Bashem Yashah is darkness and not light. So what end is it for you? Why do you want to seek the day of Yahweh Bashem Yashah? Because that's going to be the day when reality set in. All right? And you women going to be destroyed because you don't have no heads. You don't want a man. You don't want a man. All right? You can do bad all by yourself. Right? Okay? Your children going to be destroyed next to you. All right, or your neighbors gonna be kicking down your doors, women gonna be rape ravished, men gonna be out here crying as a, a woman at Javel, and many more plagues, man. Pestilence, death, destruction, new, newly created beasts. So we just waiting for y'all boss me outside to work a work, man. All right, so with that, you know, just straight to the point. Wanna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakha Kodash, and the water Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days, which the world cannot receive. And as always, double honors to our apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and taught us his truth and do it well. Peace, love, insight, taste of this coin. Well, Achim, salam to the elect.